Hi, I'm Christine McKay with Northridge Publishing, and I'm so excited because Lori Allred is here with us today, and she is going to take our Make It Your Own Challenge. And I was really excited because, you know, long before you were with the Imagine S, you were like just an ultimate like scrapbooking oh, I goddess. Say ultimate <laughs> or goddess. <laughs> Come on, take it, take it where you can get it. I like to craft. But I, I always loved your your layouts because they always were just one thing that always struck me is that how pure they were. That they were always focused on the photos, and so I always really admired that. So I was excited to see what you would come up with today, and you totally shocked me because oh, we didn't even good. do paper. Oh, no, stayed away from paper. Okay, so I wanted to show the layout that I sent a picture to um, to Lori was this right here. It's by Kathy Link, and it's featured in our April issue of Scrapbook Trends. And I just wanted to ask you, when you first got this and you opened up the picture, what were some of the first things that really like um, jumped out at you? Well, I love the textures in her layout a lot. The banners, of course, but I think banners we've seen them done a several different ways so I steered clear of that but I am a huge fan of flowers anything flower rolled flowers paper flowers fabric flowers so I went straight to the flowers and I love the technique that she used on them it's just a spiral cut flower they're really easy to do and I, that's where I got my inspiration from okay so how okay go with me here how did we get from the rolled up flower on the page to, to this? my scarf yes well it's the same concept she cut a spiral out of paper so do you want me to show you real yeah, quick yeah I do did? I'm really excited this is a really fun idea that I saw the DIY girls do on a local channel. They took a paper plate, traced it on just an old t-shirt. So I, I love have lots of those. I love that. If you asked me to use a clean plate, I don't know if I could find uh, a, well, a clean plate. Yeah, I don't you think know? It has to be okay, clean. good. <laughs> but you just want to kind of freehand cut it. Don't worry about it too much. The edges don't matter as much. This is an old t-shirt that we had laying around, so start cutting up your husband's shirts. You're just going to cut a spiral in about two inches. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love. My kind of crafting. Score. No sewing involved. Okay, now you had me at no sewing. I know this is my <laughs> kind of fabric craft. So we're just going to keep cutting this. And this is how she did her paper flowers. Same type of concept. Okay. So ours are just with fabric. So just. So totally super easy. Oh yeah. My daughter's going to do this. She's 14. Pretty soon we're going to be out of t-shirts. <laughs> so I'm going to give this one to you. Okay. And we're just going to stretch it. Okay. So just kind of pull your fingers down through and it creates that ruffle. Okay, that is cool because it turns all the edges under. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. You're just going to take a group of these. You can either um, glue them together if you want an extra long scarf. Mine, I didn't. Just take I a group of them, tie them together and to create this type of look and add your favorite flower. And I did one in black as well. Turned out really cute. The t-shirt was a little thinner and I love the way the texture turned on that one as well. Okay, the scarf is adorable. The idea is fantastic. But the thing that catches my eye is the flower. Well, of course, and you can change it to match your outfit. These are gimme clips I picked up at a local Walgreens and just interchange it with your outfit. You know, and one thing that Imagine S does and does well is flowers. And wow. you guys have, well, I, and you guys have like a whole like flower making system. We do. So I, I was excited to have you show me some of the oh, newer sure. products because you, you said that they're really easy. And I don't know if we can get any easier than that, but you've told me it, that it, it is. No, I think these are actually okay. a little easier. We've okay. done the work for you. You don't have to spiral cut. No. And I know a lot of people really stress about that fussy cutting around. Yeah. yeah that whole spiral concept freaks them out a little bit. So these are our new Rolly Rosies we released this last January. Um, we've got some really fun shapes. So we've done the work for you and created the different flower shapes. You're just going to punch them out of the sheet and I've already punched some of yours out. We have neutrals. We also released three new fabric ones which I'm really excited about. How fun is that newsprint? Okay, this one, I know, this one like is so yummy. Like my favorite. Like I, I can't even wait to like just throw some ink on that. Oh absolutely. Color them to match whatever project you want. Love so that these one. are my favorite. So you're just going to take our quilling tool okay. which is called a petal roller. And I, and I have to just ask you before we get started. Um, this does not look like a flower. Oh, you wait. Okay, all right, all right. Flower. Do I have to trust you here? I, well, yes, absolutely. <laughs> have I ever led you astray? Um, I won't answer that on camera. Oh, well, I'll okay. take the fifth. <laughs> uh -oh. So just go ahead and put that okay. in your quilling tool okay. from the inside. Okay. And then we're going to start rolling it in. Don't okay. worry about how tight you roll it. Don't okay. worry about how perfect it is. Um, the paper especially because it just kind of molds into that shape. Once we get it to the end, we'll kind of shape it. And then that big circle at the end, I like to call my glue pad. So just pull your tool okay. out and it'll be really tight. Okay. Don't worry about that. I also like to use the tool before I glue it down to kind of curl the edges. Oh, that is cool. So just kind of roll them out. 
And don't worry, oh, and I'm all about de-stressing them a little bit. Um, if you want to leave, the, I'll show you a cool, cool trick with yours if you want to glue it together. Okay. Um, so take your pad okay. right there. Take okay. the awesome iBond cordless Which glue gun. Which is my absolute favorite. I didn't think that I could get excited about a glue gun. Oh. Oh my and gosh. You don't realize how often you wish you didn't have that dang cord on your finger. I know. So now that you've glued that in place, okay. we've got this darling flower. Mm -hmm. So your fun flower has these really <laughs> pokey <laughs> shapes. Don't make fun. I didn't say a thing about it. So. I one of my favorite thing techniques is just to kind of smash it down with your hand. Okay, that is cool. It looks like, I'm like a pressed flower. You can do a lot of fun things with these. Sand the edges, ink them, do different things, and glue them to any project you want. And your scarves. Done. Well, I wouldn't put paper, but the well, fabric. Well, the be fabric great. ones. The fabric would be awesome. Well, you're such a smart Alec. <laughs> you're awesome, Lord. Thank you so much for coming today. And um, for more great tips and tricks and products and um, ideas, you can go to Imagine, uh, Imagine S's website. And for more great ideas, you can go to the latest issue of the Scrapbook Trends April issue. And it's out right now. You can go get it in your favorite local retail store. Or better yet, you can go to NorthridgePublishing.com and get your very own subscription today.